Hello friends, this video on electric current and its effects part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So with this we have reached towards the end of this lesson. So let us quickly have a look at some of the questions. Question number one. Draw the symbols to represent the following components of electrical circuits. Wires, cell, battery, bulb, switch in on and off position. So for wire we use straight lines, for cell we use two vertical lines, positive terminal represented by the longer line and negative terminal represented by the shorter line. Battery is nothing but combination of cells such that positive terminal of cell 1 is connected to the negative terminal of cell 2 and so on. Bulb which is normally represented like this. Switch in off condition is this way where you have the circuit open because of which current doesn't flow through the circuit and switch on is like is a closed circuit where current flows through the circuit. Question number two. Draw the circuit diagram to represent the circuit as shown in the figure. So if you look at the circuit, you have wires, you have a bulb, you have a battery and they are all connected with the help of a safety pin. So you see when the safety pin is connected to this, current will flow. When the safety pin is not connected, the current will not flow. So when you actually try to uh, draw this, this is how it would be. So instead of this bulb, we would draw the normal uh, symbol for bulb. We will also draw a switch and the action of switch is being done by the safety pin here. And then we have a cell. So this is how the cell would be drawn, right? So in this, when the switch is open, when the circuit is open, in that case, there will be no current flow through the circuit. So this is open circuit. Now, as soon as you switch it on, what happens? Now, when you switch it on, this is how the circuit looks like. So the switch is on now. And at this point of time, the bulb starts glowing. So this is a closed circuit. So in this circuit, current flows through the circuit. Question number three. Figure shows four cells fixed on a board. Draw lines to indicate how you will connect their terminals with wires to make a battery. So how do you connect them to make a battery? As I have mentioned always that it is it all it is always needed to remember that a positive terminal of one cell will always be connected to the negative terminal of the next cell and so on. So here this is one cell, two cell, three and cell four. So positive terminal of the first cell. So one way of connecting them is that positive of first cell gets connected to the negative of cell 2. Again positive of cell 2 gets connected to the negative of cell 3. And again the positive of cell 3 gets connected to the negative of cell 4. So that is one option. The other option could also be that the negative of first cell gets connected to the positive of cell 2. So basically the same thing. It is just that the opposite pole should get connected. Opposite terminal should get connected. And the negative of cell 2 should get connected with the positive of cell 3. Again the negative of cell 3 gets connected to the positive of cell 4. So any of these would do. So in any by any of these ways we can make a battery of these four cells. So all you need to remember is positive terminal of one cell should be connected to the negative terminal of the next cell or vice versa. Question number four. The bulb in the circuit shown in the figure does not glow. Can you identify the problem? Make necessary changes in the circuit to make the bulb glow. Now what could be the reason why the bulb is not glowing? Obviously current is not flowing through the circuit. So one reason could be the circuit is open. But here if you look at the switch, the switch is in on state. So the circuit is closed. So that is not the reason. What else could be the reason? Maybe the cell is not generating electricity. So here if you say there are two cells, cell 1 and cell 2 which have joined together to form a battery. But if you look at their arrangement, they are not arranged in the right way. 
as I said, the positive terminal of one cell should be connected to the negative terminal of the other cell. But here if you see positives and positives are connected together. Therefore, the battery is not able to generate electricity and that is why the bulb is not glowing. So what we have to do is we have to arrange the two cells in the right way. So you see now we have connected positive and connected the negative and the positives together and now here the bulb glows. So this was the problem. Question number five. Name any two effects of electric current. So the two important effects that we discussed, one is the heating effect of current where we saw that when current passes through a wire, it produces heat and this application is widely used in a lot of devices like iron, geysers, um, immersion rods, uh, room heaters, etc. The other effect is the magnetic effect of current where we saw that current carrying conductor can actually behave like a magnet and this magnetic effect of current is again used in electromagnets which find wide variety of applications in electric bells, motors, um, loudspeakers and so on. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.